Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be modeling this 3D mouse. Let's hop right to it. First things first, start out by creating a new component. I'm going to call it 3D mouse. Now let's create a sketch and let's put it on the front plane. We're going to make a series of lines. So let's create a line, horizontal line to this center point. Bring it up. Bring it back over. Create an angle. Close it out. Let's go ahead and start giving it some dimensions. Actually, let's close it out. Let's go ahead and use the three point arc. Okay. Let's add some dimensions now. So we want to make this line. 22.5 millimeters. Okay. I'm going to make this line 20 millimeters. This line here, we're going to make 37.97 millimeters. From this point to this edge, I'm going to make this 27.5 millimeters. I'm going to make this arc 28 millimeters. I'm going to make the distance from this point to this point 25 millimeters. All right. And now it's fully defined. Let's use the offset command. Make sure chain selection is turned off. Select this edge and this edge. Make it about two millimeters. And click OK. Let's make another series of lines and arcs. Create this line here at this point. Bring it up vertically. Let's end it. Let's create a construction line horizontally from that point over. Okay. Let's go ahead and use the three point arc tool. Let's turn off construction actually. And now I use three point arc, bring it over to this point, to that point. And you'll basically have right here, you'll see the tangent symbol. So it actually constrain itself. All right. From this point to this point, another three point arc. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and start adding dimensions again from this point. To this point, we want the total distance to be 55 millimeters. Okay. From this point to this point, we want it to be 25 millimeters. We want the radius of this arc to be 70 millimeters. We want this radius to be 25 millimeters. Okay. Now it's fully defined. Take a second to take a look at this. Go ahead and finish the sketch. We use the revolve command. Select both profiles. The axis is going to be the edge. 360 degrees as an angle. Click OK. All right. Let's go ahead and add some fillets. I'm going to select this edge, this edge, and this edge. I'm going to make this 1.5 millimeters. Okay. Let's go ahead and hide the second body. I'm going to flip the first body over. At the very bottom, I'm going to select this face. Use the shell command. Make it about 1.2 millimeters and click OK. All right. Select the front view. Let's go ahead and make sure that camera settings are perspective with ortho faces. OK. All right. Let's create a sketch. Put that on the front plane. 
we're going to use the project tool, specified entities. We're going to select the inside, click OK. Going to use the three point arc tool, select this point and that point and bring it in just a tad. We want the radius to be 30 millimeters. Okay. What we also want to do is use the project command because we need to close this sketch and select the outer edge and click OK. All right. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Once again, we're going to use the revolve command. Select the inside profile. The axis, we're going to select the body. The angle is going to be two degrees. All right. And click OK. Now let's add some fillets. Using the fillet command, select this edge and this outer edge. Radius type is going to be chord length. We're going to set the parameters itself to be about 0.35 millimeters. Okay. I'm going to use the fillet command again. Radius type this time is going to be constant. I'm going to select the outer edge. Okay. Make this 0.25 millimeters. And click OK. Okay. What we want to do is use the circular pattern tool and we're going to select features. We're going to select all three features we just previously selected. Select axis is going to be this body. The quantity is going to be four. Compute option is going to be identical. Click OK. All right. So let's go ahead and bring back body two. Flip it on the bottom. Let's create a sketch on his face. We're going to use a center diameter circle. We're going to make this 38 millimeters. Finish the sketch. What we're going to do now is use the split body command. Select the body we're going to split, which is going to be this one. Splitting tools is going to be the profile we just created. And it's going to be the top. Click OK. And now we have this profile. Now let's add some fillets. First things first, let's select the fillet command. Select this top face. I'm going to make it 0.2 millimeters. Click OK. Select the fillet command again. Select this outside edge and also make it 0.2 millimeters. Click OK. Okay, what we want to do now is basically hide this body and this body, and this is the only one left. Let's go ahead and use the shell command, select this face, make it 1.2 millimeters. All right, so what we want to do now, is select the right view, create a sketch, on that plane. I'm going to start out by using a construction line, starting out at the bottom center. Bring it up, snap that into place. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn off construction. We're going to use the center rectangle. Top's going to be about 20 millimeters in width. Side is going to be four millimeters in width. Okay. From the center point to the bottom center point, it's going to be about 20 millimeters in distance. And now it's fully defined. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn this body off for a second so we can see. So we're going to use the fillet command. Add four fillets around the corners. Hit enter. Okay, now let's use the offset tool. Change selection. Make it 0.5. Click OK. Let's bring back that body. 
just finished a sketch. All right. So now let's go ahead and use the extrude tool, select both profiles. Okay. Offset, it's going to be 25 millimeters. Distance is going to be 10 millimeters. Operation is going to be set to cut. Click OK. All right. Let's go ahead and add a fillet to the edge. We'll make this about 0.1 millimeters. Actually, let's make this 0.3 millimeters. OK. Now. Let's go ahead and use the mirror command. Okay. We're going to select features. The two features we just chose. Mirror plane is going to be the inside plane opposite the face. Okay. Identical. Click OK. Okay. Next, we're going to use the extrude tool again and bring back the previous sketch because we want to select the inside profile. Okay. Rinse and repeat offset. It's going to be 25 millimeters. Distance is going to be 10. Operation is going to be set to new body and click. Okay. Let's go ahead and create a sketch on the front plane. All right, I'm going to create a construction line from this point down here and drag it over a little bit. What we want to do is measure this to be about 47 millimeters. Okay. Let's just start drawing some lines, make this one vertical. Actually, let's turn off construction line. Let's make this one vertical. Bring it over. Bring this down. Okay. I'm going to set the length of this one to be about 26 millimeters. The width of this line is going to be 17.75 millimeters. Okay. Finish the sketch. I'm going to use the revolve command. Select the profile we just created. Axis. Choose the body. Angle is going to be 360 degrees. Click OK. All right. Moving right along. So let's go ahead and finally give this face a fillet of 0.5 millimeters. And click OK. All right. What we want to do now is use the mirror command. Select this body, okay, mirror plane, it's going to be this inside plane right here, new body, click OK. Now let's go ahead and rotate this body, create a sketch on this face. We're going to use the center diameter circle, we're going to make this about 68 millimeters. Finish the sketch. For this next operation, we're going to use split body command again. The body to split is going to be this one. Splitting tool is going to be the profile we just created. Okay. And click OK. And now you have this line here. Okay. All right. What we want to do now is add a fillet. Make it about 0.1 millimeters. Add a second fillet to the bottom. Actually won't be able to just add to the top. We'll make that 0.5 millimeters and click OK. OK. All right. I'm going to bring back all the bodies. We're going to go ahead and add a decal. A decal I created. Insert from my computer. Which one did I use that one, I believe? There we go. Much better. Set and click OK. All right. Let's go ahead and add some color. And I set it up previously. So 
I'm going to take machine metal, select this part right here. Plastic glossy black. It's basically going to be this face and we'll make this face as well. Okay. Rubber bumpy, we're going to make this face. Plastic glossy black, we're going to make that as well. We also have multiple bodies, so it also makes it easier. That way we're not having to choose faces. Take machine metal, put it at the bottom. Okay. Now, we're going to select faces. Select the inside. And click close. There you have it. Your 3D mouse. Well, I hope you liked this brief tutorial. Stick around and stay tuned for the next one.